Okay, I can work with that. Um, good morning again, or good afternoon. So I'd first like to start with um, the James' example of the I-35W bridge collapsing. Uh, this is the only example we see here, and this is why we need to con continue the status quo and just maintain and improve the bridges. Also, um, James said the 2013 uh, request said 57% to military, Well, and their plan is to take some of that money. If we develop more and make more roadways, wouldn't this call for more boundary security, therefore going against the affirmative plan to decrease the budget for security? Uh, the only example I see from their plan is to take from the military. So this is very vague. Is there any other where? Is there any other place we're going to be taking the money from? Uh, the resolution also says a substantial increase in investment. The substantial amount we need is 1.1 trillion, according to the American Society of Civil Engineers. The plan of the affirmatives is suggesting just to allocate other funds. Will this cover the 1.1 trillion that we need? Uh, so to conclude. I would just like to reiterate the risks here are not worth the time, money, and loss that substantial increased investments made by the federal government would cost the United States. It is clear that we have an ever-growing debt, and to invest the $1.1 trillion that is needed from our current debt of 16.4 is just undesirable and impractical. We need to save in order to earn, not spend money when, there, when we are not even sure the outcome will bring in the money we need. As my partner Sam said, it is time to cap our development. The cycle of expansion can only worsens the issue of development. We need to improve and maintain what we have and keep the status quo the same. Thank you, and please vote negative.